Hello YouTube. This is my mowing trailer setup. I'm just going to do a walk around and kind of show how I've set it up and how I've built it up. On the front, you see these two inch pipes. And I, I cut those out of two inch PVC and then wired them to my trailer to use for my, my hand tools just to organize them and, and uh, give them a place to go. And I've got this toolbox mounted up on top that I keep all my all my attachments and small equipment things that need to stay out of the weather I can keep all that clean and organized and I'll get on the trailer and show you the mowers a little bit better but I've done a lot of work to this trailer it really didn't look like this at all when I bought it it was just a standard flatbed trailer and I've built up sides on it three foot sides it works a lot better for for the leaf cleanup and landscaping in the off seasons. So I've got this rack for my gas cans. Works really nice. I've got my mixed gas, and of course my regular gas, and then I've got some mixes and extra little items down here. Made a little roller for my weed eater string. That's really handy. Got my backpack sprayer and my chemicals. So that little side basket really works nice. It's really nice to have everything organized and I made this little weed eater rack and it's based off of some of the commercial designs that I looked at and I just built my own version I've got a lock right here if you unlock it this spins open you can see the movement right here that spins out to the side and unlocks the weed eaters so that you can take them on and off but if you're not using them it also keeps somebody from walking up and deciding that they want it more than you do this is something that my son and I worked on recently on the gate. You can see this is a pretty good size. I think it's five foot tall and six foot wide ramp gate. And we made these bolt latches. Really, really turned out nice. Works really smooth as opposed to pins and other latches that I've seen. And then the gate, we added these garage door springs to and made a really nice lift gate. I mean one hand you can open or close this gate really nice. Those springs give it a really nice lift assist. Um, they're 150 pound springs and on each end used an eye bolt, a 3 8 eye bolt um, and a 3 8 connection to the spring. Gives a little bit of swivel if it needs it. Um, and then on the trailer, I've ran it up and attached it right here into the top angle iron. And I used some big fender washers when I did this on both sides just to make sure that it's got plenty of support because those have a lot of attention on them, a lot of tension on them running down to that gate. My mowers that I run, I have two 54 inch Z425 easy track John Deere mowers. I really like these mowers. My my oldest one right here is a, a 2008 and I'm getting ready to put a new seat on it. Um, maybe do a couple other little things just because it's getting getting some age on it. It's eight years old. I bought it from a buddy of mine used already with 500 hours on it. I've added another 200 hours to it but it just cuts so nice, handles nice, um, no issues. Really like these mowers enough that I bought a new one recently, and this isn't brand new. I bought it, I bought it used also with 100 hours on it. It's a 2013 Z425, and they both have, I think this one has the 23 horse, and this one has the 22 horse. Um, if there is a difference in the engine size, you can't tell by the way they mow because they just they mow fantastic. It doesn't matter on the yards that people wait a month and call me and say, hey, can you mow? And it's a foot tall. I mean, it just goes right through, mows nice, um, chops up the clippings really well. Uh, nice smooth cut, hardly ever have to go back over anything. So really pleased with both of these mowers. Easy maintenance. I change all my own fluids, hydraulic oil, engine oil, that type of thing. Um, which, by the way, on the hydraulic oil, you hardly ever 
have to change these. The uh, 2008, I just changed it for the first time. So eight years of use, and that's the first time the, the hydraulic oil and filter has ever been changed on it. So very low maintenance. Um, engine oil and oil filter, easy to get to, uh, just very easy to maintain. Just put a brand new wood floor down in my trailer. Um, just about a week ago actually haven't even haven't even screwed it down yet but it's setting in there so nice that I haven't had to do that yet put some LED tail lights on this trailer um, when I got it the, the trail tail lights weren't even working and uh, I like LED if you see my video of my truck you would know that I I like to run LEDs on just about everything they're just very very bright and uh, very low energy use. So, I'll show you my push mower. Uh, nothing special about the push mower. I got a good deal on it, but it is a uh, Husqvarna 22 inch push mower and it has the Honda engine on it. Thing runs really nice, really quiet, nice cut. I don't do hardly any push mowing just a couple little areas that that these big 54 inch decks <laughs> just can't get into very well um, and most things I'll just go ahead and and use the weed eaters um, but there's a couple banks and uh, areas close to the road where this push mower just works nice and makes the yard look nice but uh, very good little mower quick quick easy start one pull here's my uh, toolbox and this is just a truck toolbox one of the type that fit between the, the fenders inside the bed of your truck and all I did was on my trailer I welded a couple of two by two angle iron brackets well actually just one on this side and then that side sets on the trailer and um, again I use that toolbox for all of my little miscellaneous stuff that needs to stay out of the weather I've got a, a chainsaw and a uh, hedge trimmer that fit in there and a uh, bunch of attachments and things but it keeps them out of the weather keeps everything clean and organized it's what I like you know when I pull up on a job you know I want everything to look clean and professional unlike my wrinkled up fenders that I'm gonna be cutting off and replacing eventually um, the two weed eaters that I run right now I have this echo which is an SRM 225 uh, that I bought at Home Depot. It's a very nice little weed eater. Don't have any don't have any complaints. It weighs right around nine pounds, which is about the average for a weed eater. Um, does a nice job. My preference is this Husqvarna 223L that I just purchased recently. Um, even though they're the same weight, the balance of that of that trimmer in my mind or it, to me is better than the echo i like the balance of it I, I like the way it cuts you know just everything about it seems to really work nice and i prefer it over my echo but again you know no complaints on the echo it's been a good good trimmer so i've got this uh little husqvarna 125 bv um and the BV is blower vac. It has the vacuum attachment with the bag. Um, that is really nice in the fall for leaf cleanup in areas that you can't really blow out very well. Uh, flower beds, areas that are mulched. So the vacuum works fantastic. Um, and the rest of the year, it just gets used as my little blower to blow off sidewalks and driveways. I also have a Husqvarna backpack blower that I really like. I just haven't made a good place for it on my trailer yet, and that's the only reason that it's not on here. Um, I'll eventually make a, a bracket somewhere on the side, probably on the top rail, where it can sit, set up here on the side on top of the rail, and uh, have a place for it also. But it mainly gets used in the fall. So that's my mower trailer setup, and uh, hope you guys like it. Hope hope it gives you some ideas maybe of how you could organize or clean your trailer up um, everything that i've done so far i really like and i like the way it's working for me so have a good day